Welcome to the project demonstration of Bluetooth control agriculture robot. So it has uh, two main features. One is the plowing, and another is the seed dropping. So these two be uh, controlled through the microcontroller based on the Bluetooth commands issued by this HC05 Bluetooth module. And parallelly, we are going to control the robot movement: the forward, backward, left, right, and stop. So these commands will be getting uh, given from the mobile phone Bluetooth application. The commands will be received by this HC05 Bluetooth module, and which was interfaced to the Pic 16F72 microcontroller. So here the interfacing connections from the HC052 uh, 16F72 is a B0 B1, and based on the commands received, a uh, robot movement will be controlled through the L293D motor driver. So this is a motor driver which can control the two DC motors at a time. So we are attached the two DC motors for the robot body movement. So that was interfaced to the C0, C1, C2, C3 pins, and the next to control the uh, plowing motor so this bo motor we used the uh, which is of uh, 12 volt 60 rpm dc motor so this 12 volts so 60 rpm uh, bo motor was attached to the microcontroller through this electromagnetic relay so there we can see the two relays this blue color are the i relays uh, which is a electromagnetic relays type and one relay for this motor which is uh, using for the plowing purpose and another relay to control the 10 rpm dc motor so this is a 10 rpm dc motor which is used to drop the seeds from this uh, funnel directly into this pipe and from there this pipe has the hole so you can see one hole was attached to this one and again also the body has a hole so the seed will be taken by this pipe and it will drop the same seed uh, into the ground through this the robot body hole so these are the main features of the uh, robots and uh, here uh, we are using 16F72 microcontroller which will take the input from the Bluetooth module and controlling the outputs. The output modules are L293D and two electromagnetic relays. So the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp battery pack. So in this battery pack you can see the two sub battery packs are connected in parallel. So each sub battery pack consists of three 4 volt 1 amp battery. So these three are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and these three are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp. These two are in parallel. So we will get 12 volts 2 amp DC output. So which is the rechargeable battery. So the very important step before switch on the kit is we should keep the battery under full charge. For that purpose we are providing this charger. So connect the P at this B slot here. And uh, next. So on the power supply to the transformer so it will uh, step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts of ac with help of this step down transformer and this regulated power supply unit will convert the 12 volts ac to 12 volts dc which is a charging uh, voltage for our battery so it will get fully charged in a duration of six hours minimum eight hours maximum so no need to worry about that it may get heat up or circuit may get heat up so just keep the battery charging for a six hours minimum so after that the battery will get fully charged so once the battery is fully charged we can utilize that at least of four hours so this timer based one automatically uh, this uh, charge circuit will block the current flow once the battery is fully charged so no need to worry you can just keep the battery charging for the six to eight hours minimum and maximum and after that so when you're demonstrating the project very first time uh, first of all install this application that is hc bluetooth terminal which we have provided and after that on the power supply to the kit so initially the big light on this hc05 bluetooth model will blink fast so very first time when we are demonstrating in a mobile phone first of all we need to pair to the mobile bluetooth module from the settings so initially i will show you that right unpair so now pair to the hc05 bluetooth module so search for that so when you get the hc05 right hc05 pay to that so it will ask for the password it will be one two three four right so after pairing from settings it will be there in your uh, history then next time onwards when you switch on the kit directly go to the app so there we can see hc05 right after pair from here we can see the device will be connected over here and after connecting from here only then this light will stops blinking fast it only blinks very slowly and after so there is a small, small settings initial setups so button rows two rows initially it will be one row so two rows and after that so it will come with like btn1 btn10 1 to 10 so just click and hold the button change that forward to small f and uh, it will be like this and deselect these two right okay 
so like that forward f backward small b left small l right small r s small s and plow on one uh, number one and next plow off two and seed on three seed off four so like that one two three four for the plow on and off seed on and off and fl brs for robot movement forward backward after configure that directly we can control the robot movements so just by clicking on the f button move forward and right and left and backward stop and when you want on the plow so the plow will be on and plow off so for the demonstration purpose we keep this uh, like plowing sharpness very low so when we are uh, demonstrating in real time we need to increase that so it has to dig the ground directly and then seed on so when we select the seed on there we can see the seed motor rotating that so that hole will take the seed from the above funnel and will take that and will drop that in the below hole and seed off so let us see the demonstration on the ground directly forward backward left right stop same for plow on and seed on and forward so all together will work will work at a time right okay stop plow off and seed off thank you